Hi guys, I'm really sorry for the late update. We're at the end of week 27 of taking 150 milligrams of sertraline to treat triple PD, CPTSD and MDDS. Um, my, I'm, I'm so exhausted. I've just got back home. Um, it's about half past five, no, it's nearly six o'clock. Um, I got back about an hour ago and I left Margate at one, 10 past one, no, half past one. Um, there, we've had some storms here, trees have fallen on the train lines. So my worst nightmare, I get into London and the trains home aren't running, they cancelled. So I was stuck in the middle of central London on my own, not feeling great, um, because I had a bad day yesterday. Um, vision's really poor at the moment. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I made it back. I just had to take a different detour on a different rail, uh, railway line and get my other half to pick me up from the station. So I'm I'm pretty tired. That's why I haven't done the, the update. And I was busy yesterday. Um, as I said, I didn't feel well last night. And I didn't feel like I should be updating you when I feel like that. Um, so basically, I've had, I've had a good weekend. Um, I've been looked after. Uh, my friends in Margate have been absolutely amazing. I don't know what I would have done without them. Um particularly my friend Dee, she's been a superstar. Um, she's very grounding to be around. Um, and she's basically babysat me all weekend because <laughs> I've been down there on my own. Um, the first night, Friday night, um, everything was fine. The journey down there was not a problem. I was quite impressed. I braved it. Um, I was, obviously I spoke to you on Friday. Um, I was okay. Um, got to make Margate, the sun was shining, came out to the sea, you know, my friends were waiting for me, uh, had a nice coffee and a sit down, you know, and, and just rested for a bit by the sea, um, which was lovely. Um, and then Friday night, um, my friend Dee came back to mine and we watched a film and we were sitting chatting, had a couple of Baileys. And I'd forgotten to take my medication. And I didn't realise I'd forgotten to take my medication until I went to bed. And I normally take it in the evening anyway, but um, usually with dinner. Um, but when, I, when I'd said goodbye to her and I'm on my own for the first night in a very, very long time, I suddenly felt like I was on an inflatable on the North Sea. Um, and it was choppy, you know, I was rolling around all over the place and my eyes were just like spinning in my head. I was like, what the hell? I felt, just felt really, you know, that feeling, um, just out of it. And I started to feel a bit panicky. I thought, oh, for God's sake. And then I realised, oh my God, I haven't taken my tablets. So I took the antidepressants um, and then I started to get heartburn, which is a new one. I haven't had that symptom yet. Um, I've got some acid reflux. Um, so fortunately I had some Gaviscon with me so I, I took some antacids and um, it took me about an hour and a half to get to sleep and so the first night was difficult I didn't get enough sleep and I had to be up really early look at my cat he's missed me haven't you um, he's a proper mummy's boy look at him that's how much he's missed me I've missed him as well uh, anyway, this is Teddy, guys, just to let you know. I've got two cats. Um, this is my boy, Teddy, and his sister, Tula. But she's a bit shy, and she's like a little fluff ball. I don't know where she is. But anyway, going off subject. Um, yeah, so Friday night was um, really hard. I um, listened to Claire Weeks, chapter four of the second book on Audible. And... Um, put some sort of relaxing stuff on in the background. I just had to wait for the uh, tablets to kick in and for the antacids to kick in. And I thought, oh my, you know when you put yourself under pressure because you've got to wake up early the next day and I knew I had to do the market, my first market on my own on the Saturday morning. I just really need to get to sleep and have a good night's sleep so I could deal with Saturday okay, you know? Um, and it's, you know, I didn't get enough sleep. I, I managed to get up and, on time um, and lug all the stuff down there. Um, 
and then I had to deal with high winds like gusts of wind that kept blowing my display over um, so I had to constantly keep bending down putting all the jewellery back on the display board I'd, I'd done it perfectly to begin with uh, took a picture of it, it was really happy then literally three times the display went all over the floor so that was challenging me the sun was out and we were under pink canopies so that was interfering with my vision as well because obviously I'm light sensitive as well um, so that was difficult and um, like I said just the challenges of you know having all the stimulus around me and having to correct my display a number of times and stand there for so long but I still I did it my friend kept me company um, which was amazing you know she should allow me to take a break go to the toilet you know do what I've got to do bring me food and drink or whatever I needed um so that was good um Saturday night was all right um but then yesterday when I had to do the market again um I although I slept better a lot better on Saturday night um Sunday was challenging I I think I, I think it was because I think it was my vision that was so bad that it just caused me to ooh, I'm Teddy Pie um to have a little bit of a panic. So I started to feel really um I don't know if it's dissociation or depersonalization. I just felt completely out of it. And I could see people around me, but I didn't feel like I was with them. I felt like I, they were in another world and I was in this other world, you know? Um, but I had my friend with me and she did some Reiki on me on the spot and my God, it hurt. It actually hurt. I could feel as she, she had her hand over my um, heart chakra, but it was all coming out my solar plexus. I could just feel like a, like a bowling ball of energy and I didn't know what to do with it. And she was like, look, just stamp it into the ground, just stamp it, you know, or run around, just do whatever you need to do. But my vision was so bad. Um, I think it's just my eyes are exhausted and I, I could just I could just sleep and sleep and sleep. And then of course, um, today I, I should have had a two, two and a bit hour journey. And instead it's been about four and a half hours because I've, and, and I've had to di take a diversion and it's just been, yeah, so I'm exhausted. Um, but still it's progress guys, you know, I've gone down to Margate on my own for the first time for, you know, four days without my, you know, all my safety things. I, obviously I ha I've had the massage, but I've hardly used it to be fair. Um, so that's progress. And of course I'm gonna have one day. I knew, I knew it was always, I almost knew it was gonna happen. Like things were going too well, do you know what I mean? So I expected it in a way, but um, I'm still proud of myself for doing it. Uh, I've had a lot going on. I, I had an MRI as well and a mammogram done on Monday. I'm waiting for the results of that. So that's all very triggering as well. Um, so yeah, I went through that as well, despite having a virus, went through all that. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much, apart from sitting on a massager, I'm pretty much living normally. I just don't feel good. Um, and I think that that, mm, I think it just may be that I'm, I'm it's just the, on the journey, isn't it? I think, I think my eyes are particularly suffering and I, I may have to go back to the opticians and explain that this is um, the brain, not my eyes, but is there anything they can give me to help? Um, cause I do put the drops in, I have got glasses, but you know, as I said before, I had an eye scan and I test, there's nothing wrong with my vision, nothing wrong with it. And yet it's, it's really scatty. Anyway, um, I hope you guys are doing okay. Let me know how you're doing. Um, and I will speak to you on Sunday from Margate again. Um, yeah, sorry for the late update. Um, but yeah. As you as you probably aware, I've had a bit of a a bit of a weekend. <laughs> well, I love you guys. Take care. Bye.